Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. I'm very excited today because I just received a package from Federal Express. I just received my M1 Garand that I ordered from the Civilian Marksmanship Program, or the CMP. Let's open it and take a look at it. As you can see, it came with this nice hard case for free. And there it is. Very nice. I'll have to say my first impression looking at the stock is very, very good. Uh, these uh, stocks uh, can be of, um, in a lot worse shape. They can have uh, cracks and gouges in them. They can have uh, mismatched wood. And uh, I think I'll, I'll probably clean up this stock. And uh, this stock will look like a, um, almost like a new rifle once I get it cleaned up. I'm very happy first impressions so far. Okay, here is uh, a tag from the armorer. It says muzzle reading two plus, throat reading four. All right, so that is well within the uh, guidelines of a field grade rifle. And that's the, the uh, they, from the civilian marksmanship program, you can order different grades. And I order the field grade, um, you, which is uh, approximately $500, which is a bargain in my opinion on this rifle. If you want to spend more, you can get uh, you can spend $1000 or more and get a rifle that's even in uh, better condition, but I know people who've ordered uh, field grades and I've shot their rifles and um, people that I know who've received field grade rifles have been very happy with it. And I'll have to say first impression, I'm very happy so far. Okay, let's look at what came with the rifle. Here's some paperwork, the uh, Certificate of Authenticity. Uh, here's my receipt. Uh, you can see what I paid for it, M1 Grand uh, Field Grade. I paid $495 for it, plus um, $29.95 shipping for a total of $517.95, which included the hard case and shipping. What a bargain. See, it also comes with a few other things here. Oh, they threw in a nice little free target. Okay, there's a chamber flag. Oh, they threw in a uh, in block clip. And here's a little manual. Read this first. Uh, this is a manual put out by the Civilian Marksmanship Program. There's a lot of little information here about the M1 Grin. I'll have to. Definitely have to read that at some point. This is a World War II rifle. Uh, George S. Patton, General George Patton, called the M1 Grand the greatest battle implement ever devised. It was the first semi-automatic rifle to be generally issued to the infantry of any nation. It was the standard service rifle of the United States Armed Forces from 1936 until 1957 when it was replaced by the M14. However, the M1 Garand continued to be used in large numbers until 1963, and to a lesser degree until 1966 when it was replaced by the M14. I'm very impressed with the cleanliness, cleanliness of this uh, rifle. Uh, some of these I've heard have a lot of gunk in them. This rifle looks like it was just cleaned and oiled. Very nice. Springfield Armory, this particular 
model was made in, uh, this particular rifle was made by Springfield Armor. The M1 Grand was manufactured by several different manufacturers. Uh, when I ordered this, I ordered the one from Springfield um, because I like Springfield. Here's the safety. In this position, the safety is on where the rifle can't be fired. In this position, the safety is off, allowing the rifle to be fired. The M1 was used by U.S. forces in World War II, the Korean War, and to a limited extent in the Vietnam War. And uh, most M1 rifles were issued to Army and Marine troops. Those many thousands were also lent to our allies. And as a matter of fact, right now, uh, this, was, uh, this was a rifle used in World War II and the Korean War, um, mostly. And in the Korean War, um, right now, the South Korea has one million of these rifles that they want to return to the United States and uh, Obama will not let them come back into the country and there's a uh, fight in, uh, going on in uh, Washington right now between uh, Obama who, uh, who is the most anti-gun president we've had in the, in the history of our nation and uh, members of Congress who want to bring these rifles back. This is a piece of American history. This is a World War II rifle um, and there are a lot of people who uh, want these uh, for collector's items, although this is definitely a functioning rifle and people use these for deer hunting. It's a 30 6 uh, caliber, uh, which is a great deer hunting round. Uh, but but uh, if we can bring those million uh, rifles back from South Korea, then those will go into the, civ um, the uh, civilian marksmanship program to be sold through this program. Uh, and a little bit about the Civilian Marksmanship Program, uh, the, um, or CMP, it was created in 1996 by uh, Congress, and uh, the CMP had uh, three mandates. And one was to instruct citizens of the United States in marksmanship, two is to promote practice and safety in the use of firearms, and three is to conduct competitions in the use of firearms and to award trophies, prizes, batches, and other insignia to uh, competitors. So the CMP is a government uh, run organization um, and they get these uh, rifles, uh, these uh, surplus rifles from the government and they sell them to uh, the citizens of the United States and um, isn't it great to live in a country where your government will um, sell the citizens the, uh, their surplus uh, rifles um, only in America. Now here I have some ammunition. I ordered this also from the CMP. They also sell surplus ammunition. And I actually ordered this with the, in a separate order and I actually received this before I received the rifle. Uh, this is another bargain. This is uh, 200 rounds of 30 out 6 um, for the M1 Garand. And uh, this uh, was uh, $200, or it was, um, I mean not $200, this was 200 rounds at uh, $98 plus shipping, about $7 in shipping. And I've actually um, have been shooting some of this ammo. This ammo is in very, very good condition. There's no corrosion. Uh, this is Greek um, ball ammo. And um, it is, uh, they, this is, um, these are reloadable um, cartridges, some of the surplus. Um, cartridges you get, uh, get are not reloadable. This is uh, the, the good stuff. This is non-corrosive, reloadable. Here I have eight rounds loaded in a, an in-block cup. So the CMP is also a great place to get um, 30-06 ammunition. Here's how you load an M1 Garand. You want to be careful not to get your thumb in here. Uh, that can result in a, getting your thumb pinched very painfully. They call that Garand thumb. And um, a couple of ways to uh, load it. You take your hand and press back on this lever here. Press it in with this thumb. And then that way, when you press this all the way down, it will automatically close the bolt. And if your thumb is in there, it will pinch your thumb. But if you have your hand on this right here, when it closes it, it will push your thumb out of the way. Okay, this rifle is loaded. 
and there's one in the chamber. All right, now if you want to, this little lever right here is to remove the in-black clip before, if you want to remove it, before you uh, shoot all of your cartridges, you just press this lever right here, and it pops right out of there. I want to correct something that I said. I said, uh, I believe I got the uh, safety backwards. Uh, this forward is um, in fire position, and we bring the safety back like this, it is in safe position. If you think about it, this blocks your finger somewhat, and that's the way you can remember when the safety's on, when this, this should not be in the trigger guard. It blocks your finger, so you have to push it forward, and the safety is off. All right, as you can see, the the rifle is unloaded. There's nothing in the chamber. The chamber flag is so that when you're at the, at the range um, to put your uh, rifle in a safe position to go down and check the targets, for instance. Um, what you do is you want to pull the bolt back. Um, uh, you, well, you want to, of course, unload, uh, pop out the, the clip, pull the bolt back, safety on, and flag in the chamber. Set your rifle down like that, and then you can go down range. This is that is considered um, a safe rifle. All right. Now, uh, another thing about the civilian uh, marksmanship program, um, in order, uh, the civilian uh, marksmanship program will only sell to U.S. citizens. And so you do have to fill out some paperwork um, to order from them. You have to send them proof of your citizenship. Uh, one thing you have to send that says your birth certificate. Here's their catalog, and this is available um, online at uh, the, C the CMP.org. And all this information is available online, the different types of rifle, rifles and ammunition. They even sell brand new stocks, brand new barrels, um, plus, like I said, ammo. But another requirement to buy from the CMP is you have to have uh, taking, uh, you have to be a member of a uh, marksmanship organization that they recognize, and you also have to have taken a course that they recognize. And the one that I recommend, the one that I took and I recommend is Appleseed, and I've done other videos on Appleseed, Project Appleseed. Uh, you can also check out their website. Uh, but if, when you go, when you attend uh, an apple seed event, you can attend uh, a weekend event, two day, two day event for seventy dollars. And you can't. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization, and you cannot beat that deal anywhere. And their uh, their um, training is top notch. And uh, I have been to about a half a dozen apple seeds. I've been to boot camp, and as a matter of fact, I am an instructor in training for the um, apple seed project and uh, none of the instructors get paid uh, anything it is completely volunteer organization which is one, one reason the fee is uh, so low and um, if um, if you attend an apple seed event and if you're interested in buying from the CMP you want to ask them to give you this little piece of paper here and this this proves your completion of a marksmanship clinic which will qualify you uh, to buy from the CMP. And you also need to join an organization. The organization that uh, sponsors Project Appleseed is the Revolutionary War Veterans Association. And uh, the RWVA membership only costs $20 a year. And you can absolutely not beat that deal either. And another thing about the uh, Revolutionary War Veterans Association $20 a year membership is if you're a member of the RWVA, then you can repeat the Appleseed Project weekends. Uh, that normally they call your first one will cost you seventy dollars for the whole weekend, two day weekend. But then you can repeat that as much as necessary until you can qualify, shoot a rifleman score, and qualify for this nice rifleman patch right here. So you will not find better instruction anywhere, and you will not find a better bargain. But these are the two things you'll need um, in, a, in addition to the other paperwork you have to send in, like your birth certificate. If you want to order from the CMP, you want to get um, this right here. You want to get this right here, membership card in the organization, completion of a marksmanship clinic. You make copies of these, and you send that in with the other paperwork that um, when you go to their website, 
you can get the forms, all the paperwork you have to fill out to send in. And you make copies of these and you send it in and then you can qualify to buy from this uh, CMP. This rifle right here, I see these rifles in this condition right here, I see these at gun uh, sh shows all the time. Typically this rifle, if you get a good deal on it, you're going to pay about $900 for it. And you could easily pay $1,000 or more for this rifle. So getting this rifle from the CMP is a um, definitely a bargain. And if you're interested in a, owning a piece of American history and at the same time owning a very good, very accurate um, functioning rifle, uh, you can use this for deer hunting and it's just great for uh, marksmanship practice as well. Uh, then I can't recommend uh, the CMP or the uh, M1 Grand any more than that. Okay, I've had a chance to uh, check my rifle out a little bit uh, better and um, I've had a chance to shoot it even. And um, one thing I found out uh, about my serial number, I looked up my serial number. Uh, there have charts online where you can look up your serial number and find the date of manufacture. And I found out that this receiver was manufactured in uh, May of uh, 1943. So this is a World War II rifle. This w rifle was probably used or at least it was issued uh, probably issued um, in, during World War II. And these rifles were used and, um, and reissued, reworked and reissued um, over and over and this could have uh, very well have been in the uh, Korean War as well. Um, and um, I've actually had a chance to shoot the rifle now and I'll have to say I'm uh, very, very happy with the way it shoots. Uh, it is it, it just a perfectly, uh, perfectly functioning uh, rifle. Um, I have uh, had a chance to, uh, when I shot it, I zeroed my sights um, and it's uh, very, very accurate. Um, now, as I mentioned, these rifles have been reworked and, um, uh, and, very, and you very often will have uh, parts from different manufacturers. I ordered a Springfield, I like Springfield, so I ordered a, re a Springfield rifle and what that means is the receiver was a Springfield. And uh, I found out actually my trigger group. Uh, was um, manufactured by Harrington and Richardson Arms Company, uh, which is also in uh, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, Springfield Armory is in Springfield, uh, Massachusetts, but Harrington Richardson is also there in Worcester, Massachusetts. So my my trigger group actually was um, manufactured by Har Harrison and Richardson. Um, but uh, very very happy with the um, the way this rifle functions. And uh, so I recommend uh, the M1 Grand. If you want a piece of American history, I recommend the uh, Citizens uh, Marksmanship Program. And uh, of course, I certainly recommend the Appleseed uh, Project. Even if you don't want to buy from the CMP, uh, but say if you want to learn to, uh, you want to learn marksmanship, and you want to learn how to shoot uh, with the uh, best uh, technique. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, apples, the Appleseed Project. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be pleased.